Awkward Panda Studios. Hi, I'm Brock. And I'm Andy. Uh, don't you mean Donnie? No, I'm, I mean Andy. Yeah, uh. you play Andy, but you're Donnie, so you should probably introduce yourself as Donnie. I don't the... play with myself. Uh, Whoa. Sometimes in the shower, but you're okay. not supposed to know about that or um, talk about it. Ugh. Just Donnie, come on. Can, can we do this? What's going on? Who is this Donnie you keep talking about? That... I'm Andy. Did you hit your head dancing in the shower? Because no. Because I do that all the time. I know you do. And I have never once forgotten that you're Brock. Yeah, that's because I'm Brock in real life. You're only Andy in the Minecraft videos. Like, what? In the what now? Come on, Donnie. What, what? Can we drop this whole pretense and, like, we do the intro to the new channel? Like, Wait, what? This isn't real? Bro, come on. You mean my life is a lie? Um, what else have you been hiding from me? Is the house real? I mean, in a sort of digital way, yeah. Is Jeff Goldfish Bloom really dead? Uh, I mean, you never had a fish, so I'm not sure how to answer that is one. Is Star Wars not a documentary? I never said that. You can't say long, long time ago if it didn't happen a long, long time ago. That's a lie. That's, that's libel. Anyway, we have a new channel. It's called Widoko. What, what the fuck is that? Wait, are, are you a wizard now? It stands for We Do Comedy, and we do do it. Why are your powers so lame? Ugh. Andy. What? You want to watch a funny video? Um, yeah, totally. Dibs on pink couch! Behind every great hero is a greater villain. Thor has Loki, Captain America has Red Skull, and Tony Stark has alcoholism. But the greatest villain of all is the villain no Avenger will dare rival. Mr. Mayhem! <laughs> if it had been up to my parents, though, it would have been Dr. Mayhem, but I was kicked out of school for cheating! <laughs> and dressing as Hitler during Spirit Week. In that offense, it was Hebrew school, but who cares? <laughs> I'm evil. But Mr. Mayhem's ambitions far surpass his humble origins. From the start of his illustrious career, he always aimed for the moon. No, literally. As an eight-year-old child, I nearly destroyed the moon myself with a complicated array of laser pointers. Though I do realize now how silly that plan was. I mean, you need like at least a hundred laser pointers to destroy the moon. We tracked down Mr. Mayhem's family in upstate New Jersey and spoke with them briefly about what Mr. Mayhem was like as a child. Oh, are you Brian's little friends from the internet? How wonderful. Oh, you guys have been a lifesaver. Uh, Brian, Brian has had a little bit of trouble uh, adjusting to society. It's fucking weird, Sharon. No, he called the other kids in his class minions. Maybe he's smarter than them. He taped forks to his hands and attacked the pizza guy. On Halloween. He was 17. He doesn't even say her last name right, for Christ's sake. It's Mahem. It's Mahem. Oh, hush, Harold. You have always been so hard on our little Brian. He thinks he's fighting those Avenger men. So what? He was a fuck up. I know it. You know it. Now the whole world's gonna know it. Fine. We're terrible parents. Is that what you want, Harold? Or you just want no. me to say to everyone that we ruined our firstborn? Well, fine. Fine. Maybe I had eight too many mimosas when he was a toddler. Fine. Uh, you win. You win, Harold. A troubled upbringing was the first of many setbacks Mr. Mayhem has encountered on his road to world domination. After my last plans for world domination fell apart, things got a little rough for a while. I had to get a job in the food industry, and though it's doing wonders for my misanthropy, the pay is lackluster at best. I've even been forced to get a roommate. 
on the way to the field trip at the zoo. Hey, yo, you, you gonna clean the dishes or what? what? Keith, get out of here. I'm busy. Can't you see that? Look, I got a girl coming over tonight. That shit needs to be spotless. Fine, get out. I'll do it later. You better, you fucking nerd. <sighs> I'm not doing the dishes. <laughs> Screw him. He cheats on his girlfriend anyway. But Mr. Mayhem isn't giving up on his dream. During the course of our filming, he launched his most ambitious plot yet, to destroy the Avengers. His threat appears to be taken seriously, for once. <laughs> Finally, the day has come. This is from the Avengers themselves. Ah, they're finally ready for me to just, uh oh. It would appear that this is actually from Disney's legal department. Uh, apparently I have to stop saying the name of their products in my film or they'll be forced to take legal action. Screw them! Screw the What? I can't even say the event now? What about Guardians of the Ah, they call me the evil one. No one says that. Are you trying to get an arch nemesis, cameraman? Because you're about to have one. Mm. Fine then, but no, this changes nothing, superpowered best friends club. I'm still going to destroy each and every one of you. Metal guy, officer United States, uh, Thunderpants, and you too, green Mr. Hyde. You shall all crumble before the wrath of Mr. Mayhem. Mr. Mayhem died shortly after this interview was filmed due to a freak panini press accident at his day job. He is survived by his parents and his dog, Tony Bark. <laughs>